Hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. Thank you so much for joining me again. And hello, Serana. You want to say anything to the viewers, Serana? No? She's going to be quiet now. Well, <laughs> so I was looking at uh, the last episode and I saw that there were 61 comments on that episode. I was like, why are there so many comments on this episode? And then I remembered that I actually talked about comments in the last episode. So thank you guys again for your comments. Those of you saying I have the memory of an old person, uh, just keep in mind that I only play this game three or four hours a week. That's it. Three or four hours a week. And I've been playing this game for well over a year. Uh, and like that Harkon guy who's her father, I met him for what, five minutes in an episode like a month ago? So no, I don't remember who Harkon was. Didn't remember that at all. Anyway, just, uh, come on, man. Cut me a little bit of slack. I don't, I don't play games every day for hours. I play three or four hours a week. That's about it. Each game, that is. And then, you know, I'm also playing uh, Cyberpunk at the same time. Just to have a little bit of variety on the channel, you know? That's what I try to do. Have a little bit of variety. Some people like to watch the new. Some people like to watch the old. So I always try to play one new game and one old game on my channel at the same time. Uh, Effects of the Elder Scrolls is a book that I think that I've got already. I'm pretty sure that I already have this one and I've already read it. Uh, although I do not have it in my notes. Man, I'm pretty sure that I read this. As a matter of fact, I might have it in my inventory here. Effects of the Elder oh, I don't. That's very strange. It's not glowing, so the game thinks that I've already read it, and like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I already have read it. I do not know why it's not in my notes, because a while back I actually did go through and uh, clean up my, uh, at least the book part of my notes. So what are we doing? We are going to go rescue the Moth Priest. Harkon's vampire agents have captured the Moth Priest and taken him to a place called Forebear's Holdout. I must rescue him. Before the vampires can break his will. Some more blood here. Boy, they, they really did a number on the old priest, huh? Over here we've got... Uh, oh my. These damn vampires. We've got a red guard here. Merchant's Journal. Let's check out the Merchant's Journal, I guess? Let's see if this uh, merchant has anything interesting to say. Merchant's Journal. I begged my husband not to go, but he just wouldn't listen. He said if he delayed the shipment even another week, the Legion would find someone else to take it south. Let them keep their blasted money. The, ro the road to Whiterun is dangerous these days. Everyone knows it. So many caravans have been attacked. So many travelers vanished into thin air. Some say it's only bandits, but there are rumors of worse. Goblins, ghosts, witches. Twenty years we've been married now, and I can't bear the thought of losing him. I'm not letting him go alone, not this time. We live or die together. Mara, preserve us. Well, that's sad. Looks like they, uh... Well, it looks like she died. I don't know if they died together. Uh, where is he? Where is, um, her hubby? Here he is over here. Here's their horse. Oh, their horse is carrying some gold. A little bit of pocket change there on the horse. Uh, Mr. Nord over here. And, um... I mean, you know, we may as well take the stuff out of this... Their little backpack here, too, because I'm just some kind of scum or something. Just uh, helping myself to dead people's stuff. They don't need it anymore. All right. Well, let's walk over here to this cave and see if we can't save the good moth priest. Here's some more blood, man. I mean, what'd they do? Every once in a while, stop and squeeze him? And wring out more blood? That's a lot of blood, man. blood on this pillar column whatever this is I don't know what this is well forebears hold out this is this may be tough this place is gonna be filled with vampires and vampires they're not really pushovers uh, somebody reminded me that um, since I'm a werewolf I can't get vampirism which is cool so I, I've 
very early in the game I got vampirism, so ever since then I made it a point to carry Potion of Cure Disease. I got 11 of them on me. And all this time I didn't realize that I didn't even need it. I don't even need that potion. I can't get vampirism. I'm a freaking werewolf. Alright, let's see how this goes. What does the map of this place look like? Let's check it out. Well, so far there's not a whole lot to see. Uh, I am going to bring up my map and uh, remove this marker if I can. Remove it. Okay. And then I don't have a marker here anymore. I guess it's because um, I found the cave and now we need to find the, the priest. So, vampires. I'm supposed to use this crossbow. I've got a flawless crossbow here. We gave one to Serana as well. Right? She's got one, I believe. Yes. If you think it'll help. She has a crossbow as well. And that's funny that it shows that as a favorite for her as well. <laughs> Interesting. What is going on over there? Uh, that's probably where they're keeping the priest in some kind of force field or something, maybe? There's a figure there. Uh. Oh, there's a Khajiit right there. Well, surely there's no Khajiit vampires, right? There's a dog down there. And I missed. Nice shot, dude. Death Hound. Oh, here they come. You come Get out of here. What do, you, what do you think this is? Think I got treats for you or something? Hey. Oh, oh, somebody's a shooting at me now. Somebody's a shooting. Vampire's thrall. So this Khajiit is a vampire's thrall, apparently. Oh, you need to hold still. I missed, damn it. <laughs> and the music dies out. Okay, nothing to be nothing to be afraid of here. Boy, that's a long way down, huh? That was a sneak attack for two times damage, but I sure didn't do much damage. <laughs> Stupid Khajiit, just stand there and let me shoot you. Look at this dodo. What a dingus. If you're just going to stand there, I'm just going to keep shooting you. Cre increase my archery skills. He's like, man, what is that? These these things that keep ah, flying out of the sky. He finally decides to jump down. Is he finally going to run over here at me? Come at me, bro. Somebody's kind of eyeballing me. I see one person up there still. Don't really expect these death hounds to have anything on them. Oh wait a minute, I want that steel bolt back. Those are I don't have as many of those as I do arrows. So I'm gonna take that steel bolt back. Don't know where the other dog went. That's pretty neat. Mist shooting out of there. Are these gargoyles gonna come to life? Oh, okay. There's somebody walking there. I don't know if that's that thrall or not. How, how, how far is the range on this thing? Ah, oh, shoot. He's moving. Come back. Okay, he's dead. That's kind of fun, right? Take him out from a distance. Doesn't even know what hit him. You gonna come to life? I've seen it happen before. And it was 
in the outside of that vampire castle. It's very quiet here. I'm surprised this place isn't more overrun with vampires and such. Very surprised. I'm gonna fight these uh, gargoyles, aren't I? It's weird, I swear I see them moving out of the corner of my eye. So we just saw somebody walk by up there. Fire over there. Get some grossness here. Some steps here. Hmm. Oh. Where'd you come from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful now. Careful. Careful. Don't be catching me on fire now. Oh, she's going to go take care of business. Vampire's thralls. It's not their fault. What do you got? Uh, flawless garnet and the requisite vampire's dust. Somebody's, a couple people still walking around up there. So I did have this. There we go. We'll put that back in slot five. Somebody dropped a uh, hatchet there. Hell, that almost killed me. That almost killed me. It's time for some extreme healing. Whoa! Go back to being dead. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was Serata's vampire. She did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's make this as difficult as possible. Malchus. Darn it, he moved right in the last second. I was gonna blow him out there. Is he still alive? Um, I'll take this stuff. I guess this vampire armor of destruction is worth quite a bit. Who's this guy? Oh, she has an imperial soldier. Okay. Yo, look at this. This is pretty neat. Is that the moss, moth priest in there, I think? I think it is, huh? Uh, I'll take the bow, the gold, the lockpicks, the arrows. And is there another body over here? There is. Vampire fledgling. What's going on behind me over there? You okay there, buddy? she summon this guy? Was... Did I kill him and then she summoned him or brought him back to life or whatever? She dabbles in the arts of necromancy. He's staying alive for a very long time. So did my quest change? Yes, deactivate the magic barrier. That is what we are here to do right here, right now. Oh, look at this. I could sleep in the coffin if I so desired. Looks kind of cozy. Except for the standing up part. See what's in the chest. Some gold. Dagger. Some master robes of illusion. And a ring of regeneration. Hmm. Okay. Could, could you could you do something about that guy, Serana? He sounds like he's having a little bit of trouble there. At least right now, he's stone. Looks like the controls are up here. What do you think is going to happen when I press this button? Activate, activate Waystone Source. The magic barrier has been deactivated. 
We're gonna get attacked now. But my master is dead. Oh, I got yo, 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 what are you doing? Yo, what are you doing, man? Why are you fighting me, man? What's going on? Where's my health? Oh, man. I, I knocked down Serena. Darn it, Serena, I can't hit him because I'm afraid I'll hit you instead. Why is he attacking me? Ouch. Oh, man, he's got some stuff that does some damage. Huh. Um. Damn you, mofo. Get away from me, Dexion Avicus. No. Huh? That wasn't me. Oh. You were fighting. Oh. I could see through my eyes, but I could not control my actions. Horrifying. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. Okay, so he was enthralled. I guess I didn't see the part where it told me he was enthralled. Okay. Hmm. Harkon's agents captured the Mosk priests. Why do I keep saying Mosk? Moth priest and enthralled him, but I was able to break their hold on his mind by hacking him to bits with a sword. Thank the divines for you, dude. Are you okay? Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. Oh, I know why they needed you. It was because we need you for the same purpose. You do? All right then. Enough mysteries. Uh, let's see here. I'll explain later. Right now we need your help in time is short. Now let's tell him the whole story. We are called the Dawn Guard, and we need you to read an Elder Scroll. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Well, you can find us at Fort Dawnguard near Stendar's Beacon. You know where that is. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Okay, he's just gonna run off on his own. Hey, what do you know about the Elder Scrolls anyway? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls. Though in time, it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. Hmm. So, um, what do you moth priests do, exactly? It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. Hmm. I was just going to say, where's the White Gold Tower? It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. Hmm. Okay, well thanks, man. Thanks for the info. I appreciate that. If I'd known Skyrim was so dangerous, I'd have brought more guards. Yet, you're gonna just walk all the way to Dawnguard by yourself when there's vampires out there chasing you. And you're now your feet are wet. What did I tell you? Well... Let's take a look at our quest now. What does it say? It says, uh, I rescued the Moth Priest from his vampire captors and asked him to meet me at Fort Dawnguard. I must return to Isran and tell him of our success. That is what I need to do. But let's see here. Is there anything else close by? Uh, Gunmar wants us to destroy a vampire at Mara's Eye Pond. 
And then uh, Soreen Gerard wants me to retrieve an enhanced crossbow schematic. She wants me to do that. So if we look on the map, we'll see that um, none of them appear to be nearby. Uh, one of them were down here. The enhanced crossbow schematic is way down here. And uh, Mara's Eye Pond. We've already cleared it, but I guess we need to go back there again and wipe out the vampire that's there now. We are currently way the crap over here. This place called Forebear's Holdout. So, yeah, we've got some walking to do. Boy, do we ever. Uh, I guess I could uh, walk up here to Solitude. Catch a carriage to where? I mean... Windhelm, I guess. I could catch a carriage to Windhelm and then go down here and take care of these two things. I guess that's really what I'm going to do, huh? I guess that's really my strategy right now. Unless, you know, there is something else nearby. I'm supposed to recover an Elder Scroll. An Elder Scroll is... Hmm. Um... Up here, at Alftand. So that's the Elder Scroll. And, um... Discerning the Transmundane. We need to dis transcribe a lexicon. That is also here at, at Alftand. So that's, that's the main, main quest right there, I believe. And then here, we're supposed to wipe out these witches for Kodlak of the companions and that is uh, way down here collect a Glenmore witch's head and optionally wipe out the Glenmore witches I mean we're kind of on the same side of the world as that <laughs> kind of I mean if, if we walked all the way down here I mean then where do I go I'd have to walk all the way out of Falkreath to take a carriage that's a long way away this is man this is in the middle of nowhere out here huh that is crazy. Long, long, long way away. Huh. Um. Man, I tell you, it's almost like... I mean, Falkreath... So Falkreath to here is shorter than where I currently am and there. So maybe I don't make this really long walk here. Maybe instead... Uh, next time I'm at a carriage, or one of the future times I'm at a carriage, we could go to Falkreath and walk up here. I think that makes more sense than making that long walk from here. I think so. Repairing the file. We've found... S okay, Mammoth Tusk Powder. That's what I need to find. And Retrieve Undermelting Snow, which is at the top of, uh... What? Hrothgar, I believe. So, that's, uh... That's not even gonna tell me where to go for that. Healing a house. Okay, this is a, um... Solstheim thing. So, I guess, really, what we do is uh, we just go ahead and walk back to Solitude. It's not that far from where we are now. So, yeah, let's get out of this place. And we'll go back to Solitude. Did I loot this guy? I don't think I did. This is that... Khajiit Thrall. Here comes that guy. So he's just gonna mosey on back, man. Just take a sweet time. Traverse all of Skyrim to get back to Fort Dawnguard. It's a long walk, man. But he'll be totally fine. Nothing to worry about. No need to be concerned about him. Uh, I thought I'd saw, I saw something over here. Alright. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, there's no back door to this place, so we have to go all the way back out to the front where we came in.
Okay, well, it's dark, so... Serana should like that. She should like this much more than traveling during the day. Man, where's a path? You go in that direction. I feel like I exited this place the wrong way. Oh, crap. Whoa. A bear. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta get Kine's piece ready. So we don't have to kill everything out here. Okay, I think I need... Do I need to go around the other way? Let's see. So we are going exactly in that direction. Oh, what's this over here? What is this we're looking at? What's going on? Two people with torches? What's up? Look at this. Some kind of battle going on over here. Whoa. What is up? Vigilance of Stendars. And they're fighting an ancient vampire. Oh, this vampire doesn't have a chance. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the vampire. <laughs> I almost felt bad. Sheesh. Ganged up on there. Okay. Well, thank you for your uh, help. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. Okay. You know, actually, they should have been the ones thanking me, right? Because I'm the one who came in there and put an end to that battle. They were just trading slaps back and forth before I showed up. Sharana's probably going to have to find her way around these rocks. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, man. Hmm. Need to give her a torch, huh? That's what I need to do. Unfortunately, I don't have any torches on me. Doggone it. Makes me wonder what I did with my torch. I don't remember doing anything with it. I really don't. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what I did with the torch. Pretty sure I don't have it. There's a torch right there. I do have a torch. Apparently a torch isn't a weapon. I was looking in the weapons. Hey, Serana. Oh, what is it? Uh, I'm going to give you a torch. Anything good? A, a, a torch. Did, are you listening? Here, have a torch. There. There, now use it. <laughs> For a moment, I was thinking she wasn't going to use it. I mean, a torch isn't sunlight. She's... She should be totally fine with fire, right? She doesn't have a problem with fire. It's sunlight that she has a problem with. Oh, this little dog. It's Miko. Hey, Miko, hold up. Miko. Hold up. Huh. Is this your home, Miko? Miko's shack. Oh, hey, Miko. Aw. We came here before. This guy's dead. Oh, poor Miko. What's wrong, boy? Do you want to come with me? Come on, you can follow me if we want. If we want. If you want. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now I guess I have a dog coming around with me. That's just great. Okay, Miko. Okay. So here's a, a Dance and Fire Volume Six. Which uh, we haven't read yet. Uh, I have volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7 of this, but not 6. Hey, uh, Serana, is it beneath you to pick up a book for me? Do you need something? Crap. Hmm. Yes? Um, crap. I can't, uh, it doesn't look like I could ask her to do something for me. I guess I'll just pick it up. And I have to remember that even though the game now thinks I read that book, I really haven't. Well, now I'm traveling with a vampire and a barking dog. Why do I want this dog to come with me? I mean, what, what, what's my goal here? Otherwise, the dog stays here with his master. 
the dog comes with me, I mean, I don't, I don't want the dog to stay with me forever, right? And my options with the dog are wait here or it's time to you go back home. So it's not like I could take the dog home to like Bree's home in White Run and have my two adopted kids that I never see take care of it. So, um, I mean, if the dog comes with me, it's probably going to end up dead. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, oh, look at the dog looking at me with those eyes. All right, come on, dog. Come with me. We'll see. We'll see how this plays out. No idea whether I want this dog with me or not. Dog's coming with me. Hopefully, Serana's still coming with me. Yeah, she's taking her time. Beautiful night for a walk. Just beautiful. Looking for a path. Isn't there a road around here that'll take us to solitude? Maybe this is it. Here we go. Okay, hopefully this road will take us to solitude. Look at this big tree. Some lights up there. Up there is... Looking at Fort Snowhawk. Shouldn't it be snowing? Somebody said, when are we going to see some action? And the other guy said, quit your belly aching. Can I go in here and uh, maybe sell some stuff to somebody, maybe? Can I do that? Oh, okay. Huh. Fort Snowhawk. What happens if we go in? I can't remember whether we've been here or not. What is... Okay, that was a strange loading screen. Let's see here. Is there a quartermaster in here? Could do a little bit of selling. Fort Commander. Hey, Fort Commander. Get up. I'm going to talk to you. Get up, this is important. What can I do for you? Need something? Well, apparently you can't do anything for me. Okay. Ooh, a book I haven't read yet. Dwemer Inquiries Volume uh Volume Oh, Volume 3 and Volume 3. I know I have a couple of these Dwemer Inquiry books. Uh, I've already got this book. Okay, well, here is uh, where I would expect to find a Quartermaster. Virulent Frenzy Poison. Grindstone here. I got nothing to grind. What is this? A shield. Hmm. Okay. Who's this? Just Keep a soldier. For trouble. It's only a matter of time. Whoa. What have we here? Well, I could press the button if I wanted to. I kind of remember this place. I remember clearing it out, and I remember it being pretty tough. But I don't remember who was here when I cleared it out before. Ah, crap, I shouldn't have gone out that door. And I gotta find my way out of here. Boy, it is just an absolutely miserable night, isn't it? It is just nasty out here. How do we get out of here? Here we go. We'll go out this way. Just miserable. You know it's cold out here. Just the worst. Hmm? I said it's just the worst. Got my friends with me. There's a dragon up there. Did you see that? Flying around. Hmm. 
Well, I think this is the way to solitude, is it not? Well, I, apparently I'm not walking to solitude. Appearing, apparently I'm a big doofus and forgot that my marker wasn't pointing me to solitude. It was instead pointing me to... Where? Oh, it's kind of pointing me back to Dawnguard, isn't it? Well, we might as well go ahead and walk to Morthal. And see if we can't... Um, find a ride there. Where is he? Oh, really? Mud crab? Is that what we're fighting here? I thought there was a dragon coming down here. Alright, Morthal, where are you? Does this path take me to you? Where's Morthal? I know you could take a carriage to Morthal, but can you take a carriage from Morthal? Have I really screwed up here? I think I have. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't take a carriage from here. I believe this is one of those places where you could, yeah, doggone it. See, here's where I need to go to take a carriage. Doggone it, boy, I really screwed up. Shoot, I screwed up, man. I should have been walking to Solitude all this time. Said I've just been wandering. Now I'm in freaking Morthal. And that doesn't do anybody any good. Doggone it. Well, we gotta go up here and, um... Hop on a carriage. Yeah, we're going... Sorry, uh, we're going back this way. Going back this way, Serana. And uh, we're going to walk through some water to get there. The vampire's going to walk through water. It's not going to hurt her. Back at Fort Snowhawk, where we just were a moment ago. But it didn't take us that long to get back here. Some very vibrant flowers over there. You know what? I don't hear the dog barking anymore. <laughs> I lost the dog at some point, I guess. Okay, I don't know what happened to the dog. Maybe the dog will catch up with us. Maybe he won't. No idea. Maybe he was like, this guy doesn't know where the heck he's going. I'm not going to follow him. Man, I don't even know if I could get to the stables from this direction. Well, at least now it's on my map. You got some fighting going on right here. A chorus? We're just gonna keep walking. The problem is Serana may decide to stop and fight it. I just want to get on past here. I don't really want to stop and fight that. Now, <laughs> we're gonna have to swim. <laughs> Ouch. Well, Serana could do whatever she wants, man. She can come with me or not. Doesn't really matter to me. Because I'm going to go over here and catch a carriage, right? But I need to get up this hill. Who's this guy? Just a guard. Pretty cool view. Where's Serana? Can we see her torch? There she is. Did you see her? She's right there. She's trying to decide what to do. She's got a couple mud crabs here. 
she just stirred up a hornet's nest over there. If she just listened to me and just, you know, run away, she wouldn't have to fight all this stuff. But we're now here at the stables. Where's the carriage? Huh, um, well this, this is Catless Farm, but the actual, um, place where you catch the carriage is up here somewhere. Dog on it. Why does everything have to be so complicated? Hey, the, the dog made it here. All right, dog on it. I need to get up there. There we go. Some, somehow I need to make it up here. Oh, this will work even better. <laughs> All right. You know, I could have gone into that sanctuary. Yeah. To all those dark brotherhood types. Uh huh. But I was uh, sick that day. Where are you? All right. Let's see where this guy will take us. Nader, can take you to any of the hold. Where do you want to go? Um, where do I want to go? See ya. What is what is my plan here? The plan is either kill the vampire at Mar. Okay, that I, I need to go to Riften for that. And I think, well, I, th I think I said Windhelm though, didn't I? Windhelm is closest to both of these, huh? Let's go to Windhelm and take care of these two things before we go back to Fort Dawnguard because Gunmar and Serene are gonna want us to have taken care of this stuff. My carriage is the safest. Where do you want to go? This carriage is the safest way to travel, huh? All right, well then take me to Windhelm. Climb and back, and we'll be off. You can see from the light glow that uh, Serana has shown up. Hope he doesn't mind if a dog rides with us. Met one of them cats, Khajiit, I think they call themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Okay, let's see here. My carry weight isn't terrible, but it's not great either. Um, let's get indoors or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this. She doesn't like this dragon over there, just kind of hovering. Are you gonna come over here, dragon? Hmm? No, you better turn around. That's right. You better turn around if you know it's good for you. All right, let's bring up the map again. Okay, let's walk over here to this place. We'll walk towards this marker here. And I'll turn off that other quest so we don't get confused. Alright. Well, let's go. how to get where I'm going. Who's this guy? Friend or foe? Who are you? What? Yo! Yo! Faldris, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. <laughs> what were they fighting against? <laughs> they were fighting against this... <laughs> this wolf. <laughs> I thought he was attacking Serana. That's what I thought. I was shot him. I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me. Alright, you're excused. Hmm, I need to get up there somehow. Oh, crap. Let's look at the map and see if I can figure out a plan. Oh, we're going way over here. Uh-huh. Yeesh. Well, hell, if I, if I go this way, I may as well go to Mara's Eye Pond. Go this way and then go up there, I guess. Not really how I was planning on doing this, but let's see if it works. So we'll go ahead and turn this back on. And, uh, we're going around this way. Swing by Mara's Eye Pond while we're at it. The 
interesting looking rocks. I'm not gonna climb that. Oh, there's a giant over there. Check him out. Just moseying along, minding his own business. Who's there? Who, where, huh? What? Ooh, huh? Frostbite spider. Uh, can you, can you kinds piece of frostbite spider? Oops, that's not the right button. Well, it's dead. All right, where is um this Mars place? It's this way. Up there. Let's go up this hill and see if this takes us where I need to go. Pretty steep. There's the pond, I believe. So we're supposed to take out a vampire here, even though the map says it's cleared already. Where's this vampire? This is right here. Get away from me. Look at, oh! Interesting! I don't think that I saw this last time. Do you mind? Sir, do you mind? I should have tried Kind's Peace to see if that would have worked on him. Oh, well. What is this over here? Must have been a residual effect from a spell. Huh! Interesting! Oh, is this somebody else? And the mud crab is friendly now. Don't you, don't you worry. That mud Including crab won't guard. bother us anymore. More than my share of time in caves already. Well, we're getting ready to go into another cave, Serana. So quit your complaining. Oh, I think she just <laughs> revived this mud crab. All right. Well, we need to go down into this place called Mara's Eye Den to take out this vampire. We'll do that in the next episode. Time for me to end this one here, but not before we read a book. You know the rules. Each episode ends with a book reading. And, um, I will need to check my notes here to see which of these books I have actually read and which ones I haven't read. So, let's see here. What do we got? Do I have any books that start with the word the that I haven't read yet? That, uh, even though they're marked as read, I really haven't read them. Uh, the Red Book of Riddles, we have not read this yet. We read the Yellow Book of Riddles a while back, but we have not read the Red Book of Riddles. Let us stop for a moment and read it. This handy book doth contain all... divers? Manner of riddles and follies, and by means of careful study, the prudent, scholarly gentleman may find himself no longer discomfited by the sharp wit of his fellows. The posing and puzzling of riddles is a convention of polite, aristo aristocratic Western society. Nobles and social aspirants collect books of riddles and study them, hoping thereby to increase the chances of their appearing sly and witty in conversation. The question. It has a tale a side, and a head. I call it what I call a snake. It has no body, and it is dead. Oh, and then there's the, the answer right there. It must be a drake. Uh, okay. It has no body, and it is dead. Drakes are dead? Okay. The question. Poets know the hearts of men and mare. But beasts can't know my heart, you see. This book was written by a bear. The answer, it is not a book of poetry. What? It is not a book of poetry. 
Okay, the question, I gave you a sock, not unlike a box, with hammers and nails all around it, two lids open when it knocks. The answer, it must have been a great hit. Am I missing something here? It must have been a great hit? Oh darn, that's the end of that one. Uh, <laughs> what is going on here? I gave you a sock, not unlike a box. Okay, so like a sock, like I socked you in the face. Not unlike a box, like you're boxing. Uh, but then it says, with hammers and nails all around it, two lids open when it knocks. It's not even a question. Then it says the answer. It must have been a great hit. So I guess I hit somebody so hard that they are now in a coffin. Is that it? Because that is hilarious. That is a knee slapper. Well, they're not jokes. They're riddles. And then I don't get this one either. The, the question, poets know the hearts of men and mare, but beasts can't know my heart, you see. This book was written by a bear. The answer, it is not a book of poetry. Okay, I don't know that one. I, I, that, that makes no sense. Anyway, there's the red book of riddles. Did not care for that one. If I'm missing something, by all means, let me know. Let me know your interpretation of the red book of riddles. As I continue to travel with Miko, I guess I did Kind's piece on Miko also. That's why he's glowing like that. Next episode, like I said, we'll go down here in Tomorrow's Eye Den. Pretty exciting stuff. We'll take out a vampire. And uh, if that doesn't take up the whole episode, then we'll go ahead and head up the hill there and see if we can't... Yeah, see if we can't find that thing for Serene Gerard. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode. And thank you again for all of your nice comments. It's always nice hearing from you. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know. You leave me a like or a comment. And uh, if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, why not subscribe and click the bell? So you're notified whenever I post videos. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.